Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day everyone. Today I'm going to present our study on the agrobacterium mediated transformation of two rice varieties with ATMIP61 gene for lignin content manipulation toward biomass refinery. These are our team and I'm Samsida Rahmawati from Research Center for Biotechnology, PRIM. Uh, this is the outline of my presentation. Why this research is interesting? Lignin is a natural polymer, the third main uh, component of the cell wall that making up to 15 to 27 percent uh, of plant biomass. Lignin has important characteristic and has been used in industry as uh, resin and glue, uh, dispersion, transportation fuel, and so on. And lignin is a renewable resources uh, that potential as raw material for bio-based industry. However, lignin is difficult to break down into oligomer or monomer by microbial fermentation and also less digestive in the rumen of livestock. So depend on the final target of product, uh, we choose biomass with high or low lignin content. And the knowledge on lignin biosynthesis is important for plant breeding to produce plant with high or lignin uh, or low lignin content. Lignin biosynthesis started with the synthesis of monolignol in the cytosol. There are three common monolignol uh, as unit uh, for syringyl, and then G unit for uh, quaisil and uh, H unit for, uh, for hydroxyphenylpropane. These monomer units are uh, then transported to the cell wall where the polymerization takes place. And this process involves many genes. Previous study showed that the transcription factor of uh, NEC and MIP family involved in lignin biosynthesis. However, uh, the mechanism is not fully understood yet. In this study, we are interested in uh, studying one of the uh, MIP family member, the ATMIP61 uh, gene that isolated from Arabidopsis. The ATMIP61 gene overexpressed in uh, two rice varieties, Nippon Bare and uh, Rojolele. Nippon Bare has short leaf and uh, low biomass. In contrast, Rojolele has long leaf and uh, high biomass. Um, the questions, is Rojolele or Nippon Bare uh, involve uh, the same gene in the lignin deposition process? And how about the HGA, HGH uh, composition or ratio between these two varieties? before and after transformation. The main purpose of this research is to study lignin deposition in transgenic rice cultivar, Nippon Bare and Rojolele over expressing the ATMIP61 gene. This study is still ongoing and in this initiation stage, the experiment was aimed to introduce the ATMIP61 gene into Nippon Bare and Rojolele. Materials and methods. This is the typical process of gene transformation mediated by Acrobacterium tumefaciens. There are three main steps. First, preparation of the Acrobacterium carrying the target gene. In this case, we use a plasmid GWB2 carrying the ATMIP61 uh, gene under the control of the 35 prime as promoter that was kindly provided by Professor Umezawa from British Kyoto University. The other component that also important in this uh, tDNA region is the uh, hygromycin phosphotransferase or uh, HPT in shorts that important for the selection. Uh, 
as the selection gene. Second step is the inoculation of plant cell and then uh, regeneration into new whole plants. All media use and transformation procedure in this uh, experiment refer to our previous study and also he et al. Uh, 1994 with some modification. All data related to transformation and regeneration efficiency were recorded, and these are the formulation that we use to calculate the regeneration and transformation efficiency. Uh, putative transgenic plants obtained were subjected to further uh, characterization. This study, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is still in progress. So here, we only present on the implanta HPT leaf uh, assay and the PCR analysis. For uh, implanta leaf assay, we screen uh, the transgenic uh, plant by dropping uh, five to 10 microliter of uh, solution containing 100 milligram per liter uh, hygromycin um, on the leaf surface. And the same solution with no uh, hygromycin was used as control. Leaf of uh, untransformed rojolele or nippon bare were used as control check the transgenic plant will show no necrotic uh, lesion and vice versa. Next is the PCR analysis. We use uh, the HPT gene as the gene target using the primer specific uh, for the HPT gene. This is the reaction uh, components with total volume of 12.5 uh, microliter and the condition uh, for DNA amplification. If the PCR run well, the DNA amplicon uh, of 974 base pair in size will appear on the agarose gel. Now the results and discussion. This figure uh, here shows the selection and regeneration process of transgenic plants. We transform around uh, 1,000 Kali for each variety. From this table, we can see that Rojolele gave a higher number of resistant Kali compared to uh, Nippon Bare. Uh, however, number of regenerated uh, plant from Nippon Bare were twice higher uh, compared to the Rojolele. Thus, the regeneration uh, efficiency of Nippon Bare was higher than uh, Rojolele. Based on uh, implanta leaf assay, 85 out of 124 plants of uh, Nippon Bare express the hygromycin phosphotransferase, whereas uh, 18 uh, plants of uh, Rojolele express uh, HPT out of uh, 68 plants tested. And thus, the uh, transformation efficiency of uh, Rojolele less effective compared to uh, Nippon Bare. This figure is an example result of the uh, PCR for HPT gene, positive uh, band with uh, the size of 974 base pair or around 1 kb showed the presence of the HPT gene. We analyzed uh, 39 plants previously confirmed expressing hygromycin phosphotransferase, 24 uh, Nippon Bare and 15 Rojolele. And based on PCR analysis, they are all uh, positively containing the HPT gene. So, uh, we concluded that the ADMIP61 gene has been successfully transformed into uh, rice, Nippon Bare, and Rojolele. 
and as many as 39 selected plants, of which 24 uh, Nippon Bare and 15 Rojolele were transgenic based on the HPT leaf assay and PCR analysis and will be used for further uh, evaluation. Finally, we would like to thank Jaika and Lippi for supporting this project. And that's all my presentation. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.